Now, having established this, I would like us to take a scripture and begin a quick journey. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. This is the way things work. The Bible says, of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search out a matter. Please underline kings. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. It is in keeping with God's glory for things to be classified. Because when God seals something with his glory, there is no other source that you can look to to unravel the things that God has sealed with his glory. You are compelled to come to him to unlock the seal. Whether you believe him or not, if what you want is to unlock that seal, you will need to come to him and double it. Then he will decide whether he wants to unveil it or not. It is his glory to what? To conceal a thing and it is the honor of kings to search out matters. So part of your job description as a New Testament saint is that you are into searching business. You see, and your, your carnal attempts, your cerebral attempts to search out matters is going to be def deficient in this case because the seals here are sealed with the glory of God. And that's why there is only one chartered personality that has the ability to search into these matters. The Bible says that the Spirit of God searches all things. Even the deep things of God. Meaning that there is a search facility that is deeper than Google. Mm. That you will need to uncover several things that were kept classified because God had an intention to give you an advantage. And if by any means you don't look like someone that is advantaged, your circumstances seem not to suggest that you are on the advantage, it is because it's a symptom that suggests that you have not yet begun to enter into the economy of sealed things. And like I said before, it is by the administration of seals that prince principalities are defeated because it is within a context that is superior to what they can access. When a seal breaks, it comes out with wisdom, such wisdom that shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it you will notice that uh, a scenario there's a scenario in the book of uh, uh, genesis chapter 41 when pharaoh had a dream he rose up from his dream he remembered the dream but he didn't know the interpretation because it was what see just like you, you can have a dream and you wake up, you know it, but you don't know what it means. And meanwhile, you were able to do permutation and combination in the university. <laughs> in the book of Job, chapter 32, uh, one of Job's friends began to reveal how that God is greater than man. And he gave us evidences, a few scenarios to suggest that God is greater than man. One of the scenarios he created was that God will give you a dream and when you wake up he will still understand it you have the picture you understand what you saw but you see the revelation that came to you did not come on the strength of your cerebral power it came by the spirit of revelation and except you tap into the economy of the spirit of wisdom you will never be able to enter into the knowledge of him the bible says it will require the spirit of revelation and the spirit of wisdom in order for us to enter into the economy of the knowledge of him and the experience of this entrance is in the fact that the eyes of your understanding will suddenly be what so god gave pharaoh a dream and sealed it and those were the days when god wanted to pedestal joseph over and above the sorcerers and the wise men of Egypt. If God wants to orchestrate a promotion, what he will do is that he will create something and then put a seal on it. And only the sons of Zion that are kings, whose preoccupation is to search into matter. I hope you know there are more questions in Nigeria than answers. The reason is because many things are sealed. Mm. I don't want to, I'm not a politician, but I would have spoken more if, if I was offline. There are seeds. So many questions on every, almost every aspect of, of our nationhood. There is no insight to unravel what it will take to produce the advantage. That's where the sons of Zion are needed. Uh, I'm not talking about education. Education is good. We all have it. 
but I've seen prof professors that are bound because the knowledge that is acquired on the soil of your soul doesn't have the capacity to command deliverance unto Jacob. A man had to be brought from the dungeon to come on unravel a sea. See, in the days of sealed things, it is only a person that a certain seal is addressed to that has the authority to break it. There is an anointing, there is a grace that God makes available to penetrate sealed matters. Meanwhile, that's number one. Number two is the case of Nebuchadnezzar. A man has a dream, he wakes up, he forgets it. And then he now calls wise men to come and, uh, first of all, uh, retrieve the thing from the hardware that has crashed. Retrieve that thing. And then when you have successfully retrieved it, you, you now it happen. Has it happened to you before? You, a powerful idea came in, into your heart and you did not write it and then the thing just left. You are that way. Mm -hmm. Sealed. In that day, the sorcerers, the Chaldeans, because the idea of the prosperity of Babylon was tied to a certain aspect of their government, which we can call Ministry of Wisdom. If Nebuchadnezzar comes to your village and conquers the village, if there's anybody in that village that has access to the spirit realm, maybe by divination, maybe by astrology, maybe by, by, by necromancy, maybe by, by witchcraft, maybe... Uh, those ones are, are spared, they don't kill those ones, they, admit, they, they employ them to the Ministry of Wisdom. Because he knows that he needs spiritual advantage, spiritual insight to be able to stay ahead. And that was how people like Daniel got employment. But it's, it's a whole bag of all kinds of priests. The ones that, that see into water, the ones that write on the sand, the ones that go into the forest. It's, it's a bag of practitioners. And when God wanted to separate one from the other, he, he brought sealed matters. Sealed things. The Chaldeans and the magicians told the king that no king on earth has ever required this from any wise man. It, this knowledge does not exist with men. Only the, the spirit of the Holy Ghost can tap into this request. So our priesthood is limited. There's no holiness in it. Because of that, it's too heavy to go high enough to tap into the secrets that you seek. When God wants to separate the sons of Zion from the sons of the bond woman, what he does is that he administers sealed things. So the Bible says that we have not received the spirit which is of this world, but the spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. So it means we have access to these matters. So if you are not operating by them, it is not God's fault. Sealed things. Are you with me?